find the resultant A plus B of A and B in Cartesian component form. A is 30 pounds at 30 degrees to the vertical. B is 25 pounds at 20 degrees above the horizontal. The first thing in doing this is to write each of A and B in Cartesian form. So, if we look at the triangles, that would be AY, this would be AX, this is a 30 degree triangle, and this is 30 pounds. So, we can say AX is 30 times sine of 30, and AY is 30 times cosine of 30. And what you end up with for the vector A is 15i plus 25.981j. Note, we could just as easily do this triangle, where this is A is 30 pounds, and this is the 60 degree angle that's complementary to the 30 degree angle. Then AX and AY are still cosine 30, this would be a cosine theta, or 30 times cosine of 60. And AY would be a sine 30, a sine theta, which would be 30 times sine of 60. This is the same answer. So whether you draw your triangles or you simply remember this fact, this fact works only if theta is measured from the positive x axis. Now, when it comes to B, that's just fine because B is already measured from the positive x-axis. We have a triangle that looks like this, where this is 20 degrees, this is 25 pounds. Bx is going to be B cosine theta, or 25 times cosine 20. By is B sine theta, which is 25 times sine 20. So when it comes to adding these up, the resultant, A plus B, you find by I adding the I's and adding the J's. So what we end up with is 15 plus 23.492I and 25.981 plus 8.5505J. In three significant digits, if you work that out, you have R is 38.5i plus 34.5j pounds. If you wanted to find the magnitude and direction of this, you can find the magnitude of r by taking the square root of its components, 38.4923 squared plus 34.5313 squared. That's 51.711 pounds. And you can find the angle, for example, the angle to the horizontal, by taking Ry over Rx. And the inverse tangent of that, the inverse tangent of that, which gives you 41.895 degrees from the horizontal.